Hi, I'm Lauren, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the different types of stereoisomers. In order to understand these different stereoisomers, we first have to understand how isomers are split up. Isomers are divided into constitutional isomers and stereoisomers. Stereoisomers are compounds that are different from each other, only in their spatial arrangement, but not in their connectivity. In other words, all of the atoms are still connected to the same atoms. They're just connected in a different place. Stereoisomers can be further broken down into enantiomers and diastereomers. This is really what we're going to focus on. Enantiomers are molecules that are mirror images of each other, but they're not superimposable. They're not able to fit on top of each other. These are enantiomers. See how they are mirror images of each other? If we stuck a mirror directly down the center, they would look like one another. But yet, no matter how we turn them, they do not fit on top of each other because they are not the same molecule. So they are enantiomers. If they're not the same molecule and they're mirror images, they're enantiomers. Diastereomers are molecules that are not superimposable, just like enantiomers, but they also are not mirror images of each other. These are diastereomers. See, no, see how no matter how we turn them, they do not seem to be mirror images of each other. And they also do not fit. They are not superimposable. They do not fit on one another. These are also cis and trans isomers. Cis isomers have the same group on the same side of a double bond or a ring. These large red atoms are on the same side of this double bond. That's because these are cis isomers. Trans isomers have the same group on the different side of the double bond. These large red atoms are opposite of each other, so they are trans isomers. Cis and trans isomers only occur in molecules with a double bond or a ring structure. This is because single bonds can move freely, and so the atoms can rotate and change their position. These hydrogen atoms look like they're on the same side, so they would look like they're cis, but they can rotate and they're just as soon opposite of each other. Whereas double bonds are stuck in their single position because they have two bonds connecting the atoms. They cannot rotate. One easy way that I've always remembered the difference between cis and trans is cis atoms, cis molecules, have atoms that are sisters. They're on the same side because they like each other. Trans atoms are opposite. This has been a little bit about the different types of stereoisomers. There are enantiomers, which are mirror images that do not fit on top of each other. Diastereomers, which are not mirror images and they do not fit on top of each other. And then diastereomers can further be split into cis with atoms on the same side of the double bond or the ring structure and trans with the same atom on opposite sides of the ring or double bond. Thank you for listening. I'm Lauren and have a good day.